today is wreath making day and I am going to show you uh, three wreaths that I'm going to make and you know wreaths are not only used just for Christmas. They make a great decorative idea for spring, uh, for fall, and even for summer. And I tend to like wreaths that are not very complicated looking and that are a little bit more uh, handmade looking. And one is going to be a wire framed wreath. I'm going to show you how to create a wreath using a wire frame. Uh, this is a pretty old fashioned way of making a wreath, but they still exist and they are handy. Um, the second is a styrofoam wreath. These are really handy and very easy to use. And this wreath is going to be made with some burlap that I've purchased. And then I also have some grapevine garland. And this is going to be a wreath that I'm going to hand twist myself, uh, which is typically the type of wreath that I like to use, something that's very loose and uh, organic looking. So I've cut off some of our grapevines from our garland. And so I've, I've just got a very long twisted piece here and I'm going to twist this into a wreath. But I'm also, I want to form it as I'm going and I don't want it to be really tight. I want it to be organic. So the first step that you're going to do is create your circle and with all of your vines, you're going to take a piece of wire And you're going to wire this so that it creates your form and you're going to wrap your wire around once and then you're going to twist it so that it's nice and stiff. I'm going to go around another loop with it, but I'm going to, if you can see, I'm not really taking the full form. I'm going a little bit more into the wreath and I'm going to wire that. in the same spot. And I'm going to start with the bottom apex here and I'm going to create on these two shapes. So I'm going to rest it right into the wreath and I'm going to grab both sides of this wire and just twist the wire around the frame of the wreath. Try to open up the clump of what you're wiring. You know, don't just leave it some of these things can fan out to give it a little bit more texture. When considering the shape of a wreath, it does not have to be symmetrical. So you don't have to keep it balanced like this. You could take and you could go right up the sides of these. This is called Excelsior and a uh, very easy material. It's just shredded wood. It's really used for shipping, um, but it's a great material to make bird's nests with. All I do is I get a small piece of it and I wrap it around my hand. And so I've sort of created a little well in the middle of it and I will just go around and I will keep smushing it together using my fingers to create that well. And I think that that's going to sit right there in the middle of my wreath to finish it off. And now I'm going to finish this with a beautiful gray ribbon that I think will be the perfect touch to it. I love to use this wide satin ribbon for wreaths. It's not very stiff, so it's made to just look like it hangs. And I cut a pretty long piece because I'm going to want to have some tails on it that will hang down.
the best way to do this if you want to make a v-shaped tail on your ribbon is to fold it in half seam to seam like that and you want to cut from this point and cut up towards the seam so hold the ribbon top between your last two fingers and your thumb and your middle finger and your first finger pull it taut and at an angle just slowly cut and you're keeping tension on it with your fingers and that's going to give you a nice finish edge. The next wreath I'm going to make is a moss wreath. So using this old-fashioned wire frame, we are going to mound up the moss so that it makes a nice round circle and from there we're going to build on top of it. First you want to attach the wire to a working point and you want to do it on the back side of where your wreath is going to be. So I create a little bit of a ball shape and I set it right into that wire frame, just like that. And I'm not going to put too much wire into this, but I am going to go once through the middle as tight as I can. Come back around on the frame. I create another one. I'm going to push a ball into it. And I'm going to push this into the other ball. Take my wire while I'm holding it. Once through the middle. and then you can form a better shape. So this is going to be the last piece that I use here. I'm going to wire it around and finish this off. I like very architectural looking things and for me I don't want to hide this stem. I actually like the way it looks. So I'm going to find a point in the wreath that I like it and using a pre-cut piece of wire I'm going to wire this right in. To our wreath, we're going to add some of these dried vines that I collected from my backyard. And I want these to sort of f just be freeform on their own. I've got some really beautiful sheet music. I collect old sheet music. And I like to make little curls out of the paper. And what I do is I cut the paper in half. And I fold it in half again and I will cut a long streamer up the middle leaving a good portion at the end. So in essence we're having we have four streamers here and then I'm going to curl each one with a pen. Just finish those two off with a little bit of the reindeer moss. And we're going to add some of our boxwood scraggly branches to this. And so now we've got some form of a wreath going on here. So I picked up this really beautiful French silk ribbon. And I think that this is going to finish off the wreath really beautifully. It's sort of a light purplish champagne color. And there we have another autumn wreath. So the foam wreath is going to be done with burlap. So we're going to start in one spot and you want to fold in the end. You don't want the end sticking out to start your frame. And you're going to stick your pin through it. These pins will really hold really well. And all you want to keep doing is just keep folding and twisting and pinning the burlap. And one of the tricks of not seeing the pins all the way around the uh, frame of the wreath is to overlap the burlap as you go. 
So now we've got our wreath covered in our burlap. And you can see that I went around the edge and inside the middle because I don't want to see the styrofoam frame. For this wreath, I decided I wanted to do a gold and white theme. So I'm going to use the feathers. I'm going to use the mushrooms, the seed pods. I'm also going to use this fantastic gold ribbon that I got, which I think is really beautiful, very harvest looking uh, for the fall season. Wreaths are not only meant to be hung on a front door. I tend to like to hang wreaths in windows. Um, I will hang them on a wall. I might even hang a wreath over a doorknob or even just prop one up against a wall and create a vignette out of it. 